Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video. And tonight we are opening up Hobby Box number three of 2022 Topps Chrome Update Baseball. Really excited to get into this as we continue the chase for the True Wit and Julio Purple Refractor rookie cards. Really excited to get into this. We've opened two so far. They've been pretty solid. Nothing too crazy though. So hopefully we can... Uh, Hit some nice magic in this box. Let's hope that third time's a charm. And let's get into this. 24 packs, four cards per pack. You know the drill. You've seen this once or twice before. Not guaranteed any autos, but from what I've seen, looks like you get an autograph every several, every three or four hobbies, give or take one. So haven't pulled one yet. Hopefully we are... Uh, do for one in at least this box or the last one i ordered four originally and uh the prices have come down on these from the pre-sale prices i think they're pre-selling at like 160 or 140 now these are down to just a hundred dollars a hoppy box which is pretty insane this was gonna be a uh massively sought after product and then once you know the qc problems started to arise people started quickly you know becoming uh super cautious with and staying away from ripping a lot of this stuff and the no guaranteed on anything and the massive print run and is uh definitely scared some people away as well but i figured that this is a special year and i wanted to try a few boxes regardless so let's get into this starting us off with a nice cj abrams and see, even this one is uh, off-centered left to right. Definitely would not gem. It's probably like 25, 75, which is not too great, but surface is clean. And I was I was unlucky in that I didn't get any of the, Saf the Topps Chrome Update Sapphire boxes when they dropped on the Topps website. But uh, I also noticed that a lot of those cards are pretty badly off-centered as well, so maybe it was a blessing in disguise. You would you would think that for a high-end product like Topps Chrome Update Sapphire, they would really make sure to print it, you know, with good quality, focus on, you know, making well-centered cards with these customers paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these boxes, but uh, it's kind of a shame to see that they didn't really do a good job with that. So I've seen a lot of boxes with horrible QC, even in Sapphire. So not gonna be opening any Topps Chrome Update Sapphire unless I get a pack in a mystery box or if I get some ridiculously good deal, which probably won't happen. But I did order a couple Bowman Chrome Sapphire boxes. So those should be here any day now. Oh, that's a nice one. That's actually really well centered. Not the true rookie, but this is the Julio Rodriguez rookie debut. And this one is, wow, this one's actually really well centered. So might have to take a closer look at this one under the microscope. Take it under the knife. Got some rubber gloves on. Get the loop, the light. The grading station is a serious operation in the Peds Card Cave. I'll have to show you guys one of these days how it how it all comes together. So really nice one there. J-Rod rookie debut. I think we got a refractor in this next pack. Jose Azacar. Clayton Kershaw. That's a pretty cool looking refractor in a sunny gray. Take that Clayton. Down to one, the last pack of the first quarter of the box. Pretty solid so far. We got the nice J Rod. And speaking of J Rod, here's another one. Take that. Richie Palacios, Rob Refsnyder, and another Palacios. So two Julios to get this kick started. We'll take that. Got 2023 Top Series 1 dropping uh, middle of February. So it's pretty crazy that 2023 cards are already in our rear view mint, uh, window. 
And we're still waiting on a couple, or I think just one, just Bowman's Best from 2022 to release. Actually, we're also waiting on Topps Gold Label Baseball from 2022. So we'll still have some 2022 products coming out uh, this upcoming month. Josh Rojas. I've been behind with that. So uh, should be interesting. Joe or Jose Miranda rookie, Nestor Cortez, and a nicely centered Jeremy Pena rookie debut purple. So we're getting the debuts in surprisingly great condition. So take that, Jeremy Pena purple. Now we just got to start making our way, snowballing our way to the true rookies, the Bobby Witts. Hopefully we get an auto or a numbered card of a decent player. And uh, let's keep this box rolling. Let's keep it Scott Rowland recently inducted into the Hall of Fame, which seems to have, uh, you know, created quite some controversial, you know, conversations about whether or not he should have gotten in. But, you know, the guy was incredible at his position. Ooh, we got an aqua in this pack, guys. I got to set this bad boy to the side. We got an aqua. A lot of people didn't think he should have gotten in, especially the older generation. Um, the guy had, I think, seven or eight gold gloves. Had some good pop. Uh, but if you look at his overall stats, I don't think he had over like 1,700 or 1,800 hits. But I do remember him playing a lot for the Phillies and the Cardinals, and he was an unbelievable player. I guess it could have gone either way. But uh, it is what it is. Corey Seager, Refractor. Pretty excited. I'm actually going to be going to spring training, Met Spring Training, Port St. Lucie, Florida, for a week. In the beginning of February, so pretty excited for that. Nice Miranda pink rookie card. It's not too shabby, so hoping to get to see uh, Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander in action up close and personal. Maybe get some autographs, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, I like this one. C.J. Abrams. And a Pujols purple. That's actually a pretty sick one. I'm going to sleeve that bad boy up. Pujols last playing card. And what a final year to cap a historic career of one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Eclipsed 700 home runs. And he just went on a tear the second half of the season. And it was really special to watch. Nice CJ Abrams generation now. And uh, planning on going to a card show this upcoming weekend, so pretty pumped about that. I'm gonna try to pick up a whole bunch of sweet cards for the PC and for some stack sales. No, we haven't had a sale in a little while. Probably the latest we'll have one in two weeks. Uh, if it's not too busy Saturday, I'll try to throw one together Saturday night. But if not, we'll do it the following weekend. But uh, looking forward to that show. Haven't done one in a while. And then um, on top of that, I actually bought quite a few singles off eBay recently. I feel like cards are very, very cheap right now. Nice Jeremy Pena. Ooh, Torkelson. So we got two nice, true back-to-back -back rookies. And I picked up a cu couple cards from Update and Finest and a couple other Sapphire that I really, really... Ooh, we got a Royce Lewis, guys. Wow, that's really well-centered, too. So this is shaping out to be a solid box. Forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I picked off a couple singles on eBay. Some Sapphire, some Update. Uh, some really nice rookies. So I might make a little video once they're all in and uh, do a little recap of what I picked up. I think you guys would like to see what I got. I got some pretty sweet ones I'm waiting on. First one came in today, but don't want to spoil it just yet. 
All right, so we know we got the Aqua. Got a whole bunch of purple rookies. No Bobby Witt yet. Oh, we got a Mariner. Got a Mariner. Chris Archer. Hunger Games edition. Ah, uh, it's a Matt Brash. Come on. Sergio Romo. Not Matt Brash. Anytime it's a Seattle Mariner or a Kansas City Royals, you always hold your breath. Another refractor. Wow. I don't remember getting this many refractors out of these boxes. Kyle Tucker. Elliot Ramos. So that's actually another nice rookie, true rookie. Two more packs in the third stack, and we'll get to the last, and then we'll reveal the Aqua. Hopefully, we'll release the Kraken. Could you imagine an Aqua Bobby Witt? Kyle Schwarber? That would be unreal. Taylor off the walls. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we were going to do the quick back-to-back -back Julios, but this is a sick one. Julio Generation Now rookie. So this is definitely the Julio box. I would take an Aqua Julio as well. Probably should have sliced these before the video, but, you know. All right, here we go. Really appreciate everybody watching this video, tuning in. If you're enjoying it, please hit that like button. Really helps the video and the channel out a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please consider hitting that subscribe button as we march our way on to 6,000 subscribers. Pretty remarkable. Appreciate every one of you. Joe Denand. Bryce Elder. Adam Angle. Felix Bautista. Another Pujols. And a Coteau. Rookie card for the Blue Jays. Andre Palante, rookie card. Reed Detmers. There's a true Royce Lewis and an Andrew McCutcheon who reunited with uh, his original team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. So that should be pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of fans are happy to see him coming home towards the end of his career. Still adds some value. Another refractor. And we got a Detroit Tiger. Nick Plummer actually watched him hit a walk-off home run live the one game I went to. Corbin Burns. Nice. Spencer Torkelson. Rookie debut. Another well-centered torque or purple. So, overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Two more packs before the big boy. That's the Matt Brash. I'm El Tapia. Here we go. Second to last pack. Gabriel Arias. Or Arias. Bo Bichette. And a Bo Brisky. So let's see what this last pack has in store. Would be nice if it had some ink on it. Let's pull from the back. Ryan Blannon. Sergio Romo. Alrighty. Well, here goes everything. It's a giant. It's going to be a Carlos Rodon. Not... A rookie, unfortunately, but pretty sick looking card. Carlos Rodon out of 250. 
So that is going to do it for the box. Really appreciate you watching once again. Even though we didn't hit big on the parallel, thought we did pretty well with the uh, purple rookies. So I do have one last remaining box, the Lone Fox. Probably crack that bad boy open sometime in the next week or two. But let's do a recap. And uh, here we go. Got the Royce Lewis rookie card, Elliot Ramos, Kyle Tucker Refractor, Trouty, Torkelson. Got the Pena rookie, Miranda Purple, Seeger Rodon Aqua, CJ Abrams rookie, Generation Now, Julio Generation Now, Pujols Purple, Julio. We got the Royce Lewis, True, Spencer Torkelson, Jeremy Pena, and the Julio Rodriguez. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.